Hello everyone! This is a much requested tutorial because one of the most asked questions is probably how do I get my virtual tour online once I'm done creating it? There is a video tutorial on the different ways of publishing a virtual tour, so publishing it as a local file which you can send via email or pass on on a flash drive or on a CD and the two forms of publishing a virtual tour so you can upload it to the internet and integrate it into your website for example. If you want to have a quick recap on the different ways of publishing a virtual tour, please go back to that tutorial. So we're done creating our virtual tour, how do we get it up on the internet? Generally, as you might recall, using the 3D Vista hosting service is basically the easiest way to get your virtual tour online. What you do is inside the 3D Vista virtual tour mask, once you're done creating your virtual tour, you simply log in with your hosting account details and you click upload. That's it, your virtual tour will be online. Um, right away it'll give you two links, one to just share the virtual tour, so when clicking on that link the virtual tour will open in the user's browser window, and the other link to embed the virtual tour into an existing website. This is an optional service that we offer just for your convenience, so you can upload a virtual tour really fast and easy. This is a service which is paid annually for the hosting space you contracted. If you don't want to use 3D Vista hosting service or you have already contracted a hosting server with another provider out there, you can still upload your virtual tools to that server. This is slightly more complicated but I will show you now step by step how to do it. This is how you will have to proceed to upload your virtual tour to a server other than the 3D Vista hosting service. For this we will be needing an FTP client. An FTP client is a program that helps transfer files, in our case the virtual tour files, between your computer and the server that you contracted, that you found out there. It's essentially what you need to upload your files onto an external server. There's a million and one FTP programs out there which you can use and depending on your server provider you might even have a web page that lets you upload files. We will be using an FTP client that is called FileZilla simply because that's what we use and recommend because it's, it's for free, it's easy to use and you can just download it from the internet. Make sure that you download FileZilla client instead of server. So we click on FileZilla client and you can just download the program here and install it. It's very easy. Once you have an FTP client installed on your computer, the way to proceed is very easy. Let's say you just finished creating your virtual tour, so this is 3D Vista Virtual Tour Pro. This is the virtual tour that I've just created. And what I want to do now is click on Publish, select For Web, click on the little dots in order to determine where to actually store the published files. So I will select the folders. I do want to create a new folder because I will have um, a couple of files and folders that will be stored inside this new folder just to not mix up things. And then I click publish and wait for the program to do its magic. Here we go, that's it. The virtual tour is published. Now we only have to upload it using the FTP client. So that's what we'll do now. We open the FTP program and if we've never used it before or if we've never actually connected this program to the server that we're using, we will see on the right hand side that it says no server connected. So that's what we have to do first is connect our computer and this FTP program to the server that we are using. Therefore you should have received from your hosting service provider a username, a password and an IP address. That is what we will have to insert up here. Under host I will type in the IP address, then username and password. And for port you usually should type in 21. So by default servers are using 21 as port. I would say that less than 5% use a port that's different to 21 and if they do they should tell you so. And then click quick connect. And now we can see that here on the right hand side we're connected to the server. Layout wise we have two parts. The left is your computer, so all the local files. And the right is the server, so we would see here all files that you have already uploaded onto the server. 
The idea now is to copy and paste or to simply drag and drop the file that you want to upload from the left, from the local side, from your computer, to the right onto your server, into whichever folder you need it to be. So in my case, my server already comes with a couple of default files and folders that we can see here on the right hand side. And for the tour to run properly online in the browser, I need to copy the tour into the web folder. Uh, that's important because otherwise the tour might not show properly. So I double click in order to open the web folder and I go back and I take the virtual tour folder Casa Cascada that my virtual tour pro generated when I published the virtual tour and I drag this folder into the web folder. And that's it. On the bottom left you can see that the uploading process has initiated and now we just have to wait. Since this can take a couple of minutes I will now quickly fast forward it. Just something real quick, if you didn't create a new folder uh, when publishing your virtual tour like I did, I created the Casa Cascada folder on my computer, then I do suggest that you would create such a new folder here on the right hand side in your web folder of your server. Um, just simply create a new Casa Cascada folder in there and then upload all the individual files and folders that the virtual tour published into that Casa Cascada folder. So the idea is to have separate folders in here of each virtual tour so your individual virtual tour files don't get mixed. Okay, by the magic of fast forwarding our tour is already online. Um, either way, this process doesn't take too long. Um, what we want to do now is open our internet browser and check whether the tour is visible online and works properly. So I open my browser and I type in my web URL. Um, in order to access your tools directly, you always type in your web URL slash the name of the folder that you uploaded onto the server's web folder slash index.htm. So that's always the way to reach your tools directly. And as you can see, indeed, everything is uploaded. The tour should work fine and hopefully will be enjoyed by many people on your website. Thanks for watching.